Today we are doing some weaving. Something that is kind of simple but makes a big difference in the end. We have to start by preparing our loom. So we'll take out this large white paper and fold it in half and then cut into the lines that are across it. Be careful not to cut all the way, stopping just short of the edge. You can always tape it together if you do cut too far. We also need to prepare our paper strips, so cut long ways about one inch wide. These steps are simple, but important. Now, when we start to weave, we'll feed the paper through, going over, then under each strip, over, under, again and again. When you do your next colored paper, uh, be sure to alternate over, under, this time around. Sometimes we might move too fast or overlook one of these steps, but this pattern, though simple and small, is in the end what holds the whole thing together. There's a story in the Bible about the disciples of Jesus arguing with each other about who was the best. But not just the best right now. They wanted to decide which qualities and accomplishments would be the most important in the kingdom that Jesus was setting up. What do we have to be and what do we have to do to become the greatest, better than everyone else? They went to Jesus to see what he thought. Jesus just walked right past the disciples and into the crowd, and there he met a small child. He told the disciples, You're all so worried about being the best, but try acting like her. Because being a part of God's kingdom looks a lot more like this child than all your competing and arguing. Humility and openness are easily overlooked, but they're what makes for great living in the kingdom I'm building. As we worship today, take your time with small and simple steps to weave all your colors together as God works to do some greatness in us through what is small and simple.